Good morning, you lovely lot. Here we go. We are day two of our November news, and the news is we've got a brand new launch every single day this week well, on Crafters TV. Yes, but today is a more special day. It is. Because it today is. we've got two new launches. Oh, I thought you were going to say, because you're in the building. Well, I Look, can't of course. Pr presume <laughs> to say that. Uh, but two big launches today, guys. So November news got even bigger today. So I'm just going to slip that one in now. Actually, more than two launches. Uh -huh. it's, a, it's a pretty big day of launches. Craig will tell you all about it. I have. Yeah, we've not got one, nor two, or three, or four, or five, or six. If you head across to our website, now you guys have been asking, and I'm telling Sarah, they've been asking. Are you? you are know. you doing your own card blanks? I want your own card blanks. I want the ones that you use. I want the white. I want the craft. I want the envelopes. They're all there on our website. We've got eight by eight. We've got seven by seven. We've got six by six. We've got five by five. Go into new. We've got our framed edge and folders. Go into there. And as you start to scroll down there, you can see our brand new launch today. You continue to go. You've got your robot. Look, there we go. Craft card, white, ivory, in the card blanks. Now, not only are you going to get the card blanks in those sizes, you're also going to get all the way down to 5x5. Five five. You're going to get 5x7. Five They're all a smooth card stock, so you can ink, you can use your transfers, you can cut, you can obviously do your embossing. But if you do make to sell, what about going in with cello bags? Now, you're going to see them in a moment, but look at that. We've got A3 coloured oh, cardstock. Look at those amazing look. photographs we have for you. Look <laughs> at them are there. Now, trust me, you're going to get incredible brightness of colours. But as we continue to go down, we're going to start to see cello bags. They're even on to the next page. That is how many new launches we've got. There we are. We've got them. These are our cello bags. So if you're making to sell, perfect. That's going to keep them in pristine condition. Or maybe you just want to then go in and stock up on 12 by 12. You can do that. We've got black, we've got white, we've got smooth. Now, not only that, you're also going to find a full big pack of white linen cardstock. Now, you know how much I love the linen cardstock. Guys, this is absolutely the day to head across to the website, stock up on these essentials. These are all going to work perfectly when it comes to the brand new launch, when it comes to, of course, the frame dies and the folders. If that wasn't enough, it's Tuesday. Now, you know what we do on a Tuesday? We've got the £10, $10 Tuesday. It's there for you guys across Central Europe as well. Whereas everything within that section, you're going to get for £10, $10 or €10. Euros. This is where Club Inspire kicks in the more you spend, the more benefits you get, of course. And I just love essentials. You can tell, you'll all be, already be able to tell across on my Facebook page. I've given you links straight away to all of them. So these are going to work in conjunction with today's launch. They're going to work in conjunction with what Debbie had yesterday and next week and the weekend and the weekend and week ahead. So grab them while they're there. But the main focal point of today's launch is all about our floral frame folders, dies as well. These are incredible. These are exceptional. It's the concept, Sarah, having the folder and the die. Well, you, you know edgeables. Everybody always loves edgeables and nesting style dies. So what we've done is we've done the style and the design of the nesting style dies, but as an edgeable to give you that lovely big statement piece on your card. And then we've paired that with a beautiful embossing folder so that you've got that opportunity to do a little bit of embossing, beautiful bit of die cutting, some shaping on your cards, a little bit different, a little bit unique. Four fabulous brand new sets, which there is so much you can do with. Yes, I've got a whole launch day show coming up this afternoon, but in Wake Up Call today, I'm going to try and preview as much as possible, show you what they are, show you how they work, and hopefully wow you with a couple of demos. Absolutely, it's going to be fun. Take advantage while Sarah's here as well with all of the demonstrations. Lily will be here at the end of the day with me, but what I want you to do, get in contact with us when it comes to social. Alex is on the social for this show and launch day as well, so, so there to give you a helping hand. Do you know what? There's that many. I'm just going to shout out to those that are watching. Sarah Brown's in, Michelle's in, Betty's in, Gamma's in as well, Paul is in, Lynn's in. We've also got Terry Anderson, Stacey, Sandra, Kim, Brenda. So much more are tuning in this morning when it comes to Wake Up Call. So let's Let's just dive straight in. Let's have a look at the website when it comes to our brand new launch. You can see that's everything that you're getting when it comes to the show stopper. Now, later on, just shortly, I will go over a bonus buy, but that is your show stopper there. If you want the dies and the folders on their own, you can absolutely do that. They're there on the website. But what we're going to do before I go into anything, we're going to go to Sarah just in a second because she's going to show us the actual boards. They're going to show you the folders, the dies as well, how these work. Then when you come back to me I'm going to go over the incredible value that you've got within the different options um, Sarah 
fab fab launch come on i'll show you exactly what i mean okay guys now these are these are the styles of dyes that we get asked about all the time that are always the ones that people they're the most usable in your cards okay mm -hmm. so can you see what we've got created multiple die sets okay. where you can do the shaping on the card so instead of it being a, a, a plain fold card it's a shaped card and then this beautiful cutting detail that you can be working with as well and then when i said we've included an embossing folder that's the embossing folder now i love this idea where it's been brought oh, into yeah. the centerpiece of the card as well. And that's ready for you just to add whatever sentiment you want to because it can go landscape or it can go portrait, right? Then we've also got, now look at this, love this idea where again, you've got the shaping around the top of the card, Craig. Uh -huh. You've got that lovely cut in detail, but we've brought in the embossing folder. This is just using a couple of your beautiful papers. And I'm going to be showing you cards like this when we get into the big launch day show. Oh, wow. Because I love the idea of having your gatefolds, the going to meet together in the middle but we've given them the shaping so it's not just a regular gatefold it's given the shaping it's giving a little bit different and i've actually off centered this one and used it with the uh, embossing folder on the side right what about these sort of cards craig where we take <gasps> this over the oh, wow. fold of the cards just a little bit different a little bit unique this is actually one of shan's i love that idea and the doily always very very popular or even this just different again How delicate so this time look at this easel card how oh, no unique way. and different is that one there? Beautiful card, really beautiful card. I've got loads of ideas okay. like this screen and loads more. I'll show you the actual four designs that mm -hmm. we're talking about, right? So these are the things. So every pack, you get in the embossing folder and you get the outer die and you get the inner die. So that you've got the embossed pattern, the outer and the inner die. You've got all these different kind of floral elegant frames you've got the regal feel to them you've got the ornate you've got the doily style going on in there and they're all going to work just a little bit differently and give you that ultimate flexibility okay Fab. that one there is the first launch of today this is the one that i'm going to be focusing on during the launch of the show i'll let craig tell you about the showstopper and then i'll tell you about the second launch of today absolutely thank you sarah and you'll see for many of these card blank sizes if you go for this launch please put in the new card blanks as well because they're going to work perfectly hand in hand now you've seen the brand new launch with sarah when it comes to the folders and the dies let's have a look at the bundles because what we we'll have got is we've got options and i said this yesterday we'll love to give you options you want the folders and the die on their own they're there for you to check out but we've got this showstopper now this showstopper is giving you the brand new launch it's giving you a tape runner a dotty tape runner is giving you my absolute favorite 12 by 12 card pad that we do with the pastel and the linen not only that you're going to get two pokey tools you know how many i've got but then we're going to be giving you our five blending brushes it's not our pads it's our actual blending brushes you're going to get all of that for 70 pound or 88 dollars your platinum comes down to £56 or $70.40. Put it into perspective. When it comes to just the brand new launch, if you were to go for them on their own, they are £51.96 or $59.80. That's great. But when it comes to all the extras, if you were to buy them on their own, which you could do, they're there on the website, you would be £47.95 or, or $62.95. But then together, this is when you've got that epic save. And you can see on the screen, £29.91 on the showstopper, $34.75, which is exceptional. Platinum comes down to £56, $70.40. That's great as a showstopper. And just like yesterday, when it comes to the bonus buy for today, I am telling you, they work perfect hand in hand, beautifully together. And that is our duet ink pads these are our duet ink pads now if you want to go for them 68 pound or 105 dollars platinum price comes down to 54 pound 48 or 84 dollars now sarah will be using them throughout some of the demonstrations when it comes to these it's a bonus buy so that means you can get them for half price if you add them into your showstopper so if you add them in your showstopper that would then become half price so they would come 34 pound or 52 dollars 50 in total all of your 12 duet ink pads and your showstopper, which is giving you the paper pad, the five blending brushes, the pokey tools, the two actual tape runners, the dots and the straights, and the brand new launch. With that bonus buy, you're going to be at £104 or $140.50. That is the today's price. The today's price. The bonus buy price comes down to £83.20 or for you guys stateside, $112.40. For all of that, 
and the full duet ink pads. Let's just put them side by side. Epic, absolutely epic. Incredible. Now you can see the value. So the options is there, of course, if you want just the showstopper, just the duet, just to say as well, you cheeky, cheeky lot. Those that are going to say, but I want the duet for just half price. Does it work like that? You need to put them into your showstopper basket. So showstopper in your basket, duet ink pads in the basket. It's all going to be done for you at checkout. Make sure you log into your account so your Club Inspire will be deducted off. And that bonus buy. It will tell you on the, the website there's a bonus buy, but I'm telling you right now. Head across.co.uk.com.eu. Before we go to Sarah, though, rub-ons. These are beautiful. These are so, so delicate. These are epic. Absolutely epic. These are adhesive rub-ons. These are our two packs here collection. £48 or $58, where you're going to get all these rub-ons. Now, when it comes to these ones, you quite simply rub them on. We're going to be seeing them just shortly here. But when it comes to each of the packs, each pack you're going to get 24 sheets. Now, you've got all of these frameworks. You've got the intricate uh, curls in the corner. You've got borders in here, but you've got your teals, your rose gold, your silver. You're going to be able to do all your resist effects with your duet ink pads. Now, when it comes to the designs within each pack, because they come to you two packs, which we'll show you, you are going to get six designs. But then when it comes to each design, you're going to get four of each. So you're going to be able to go on to your flat card, your texture card. Sorry. I'm going to say it again, but if you go for your card blanks, you're going to go onto your card blanks. You're going to be able to go on your craft card blanks. These are all the designs. This is how they're going to come to you. Two separate packs. You've got that kind of plum colours. You've then got the green colours. You've got the silver, the copper, the gold. Each pack, six designs. You're then going to be getting your uh, four of each. Absolutely phenomenal. For eight pound fifty-eight, you go two for it. Each. Um, two of so each. I'll, yeah, I'll show you. So, for example, right, two packs. So, in the Make a Wish pack, it's a twenty-four pack because you get twelve sheets of foil and twelve sheets of rub-ons. Got yeah. So, six different designs, two of each, and then the twelve sheets of foil. So, this is when you open the pack. These are the designs. So, this is how it's going to come. So, what Craig showed you were the designs when they they done that. I'm going to show you how they work in just a second. But you're going to get 12 pages of all of the different rub-ons, and the, there are hundreds and hundreds of rub-ons in each one of these packs. Okay, hundreds of rub-ons. Then you get 12 sheets of the foil. Now, in the Make a Wish, you are you're getting the lovely electric blue, you're getting that green, you're getting the purple, and the, then you're getting the magenta in that. So those are the colours that you're getting. And then in the other set, which this one is called Shine Like a Star. Shouldn't have favourites. This is the one. I well, like that look, one. you don't have to choose because in the bundle, they're available individually, or you can go for the um, the two pack. The value is in the bundle there, guys, right? So again, you're getting two sheets of each one of the rub ons, but then the colours that you get in Shine Like a Star are your more traditional metallic so you're getting the rose gold the silver the copper and the gold nice. in there so you can see that there's all those beautiful colors right so that is what you're going to be working with now i'm going to show you how to use them just before i do mm -hmm. really quickly i want to show everybody the samples because i think once you see them right so as craig said you could be doing it could be rubbing them on and then you can be adding your color onto this so can you see Oh, yes, you can. There you go. Oh, nice. Now, can you see, Craig, that it's been done onto vellum? Oh, yeah. So you've got it rubbed onto vellum. You've got it rubbed over the top of where we've done our background pieces. You've got it where we've coloured into them there. Uh, use them. Now, they do work really, really well with those duet ink pads. So if you want to do a little bit of colour and adding them onto there, it's very, very easy to do. Give yourself all of those beautiful backgrounds. You can be doing the different colours. I'll teach you how to do this over the course okay. of the show. And Lily's in tonight. She's going to be doing demos with these as well, showing you how you do the multi-coloured bits in there but the shine that you get on them is absolutely just phenomenal I mean look at that on a 3d envelope like yeah. this and then you've got the corner pieces done on the envelope or unusual shaped cards and then you'll see we do uh, that lovely big centerpiece on the cards now I'm just going to ever so quickly show you how they work let's okay? do it yeah so let's have a little look I'm going to get a lovely big now this is the problem when you look at the overhead camera and you'll see You've got the designs are just gorgeous. It's choosing which one to go. With. Like, look at these beautiful swirls, big centerpiece here. So if we let's do the centerpiece. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to go for it, Craig. Jam pack right? full on each sheet, aren't they? They are. So can you see they're all separate? So what you do is you go around this. You cut out the design that you want, right? right. So I'm going to take this design, and then you leave 
all the rest of the sheet. That's totally separate, right? Now I'll do it on black card just so that you can see it a little bit easier, all right? So once we've got our black card, you're going to peel the background off. This is now sticky. Mm -hmm. You can kind of see it there, can't you? I'll lie this down on here, right? Then you're going to use, you're going to either use like a, um, I mean, I'm just using a spoon because I couldn't. Is that your breakfast spoon? It was. <laughs> uh, it was a while back, uh, just because I couldn't see where my, um, what should we call it, was bone folder. Bone folder, yeah. So you can use your bone folder or you can use the back of a teaspoon, guys, or a tablespoon in my case, right? But what I want you to do, give it a rub, right? And then start to release it up oh i've got glitter on from it's actually the spoon that we used to put glitter on oh, it? <laughs> so i'm just peeling it up just making sure that every piece of that rub on has been rubbed on right, right? so can you see i'm just really can you see that there i think you put yeah oh, you yeah can, you can right? yeah so there's a little bit that i'd missed there just releasing that off a little bit there just releasing that down there's my hold set right I can see that that's been popped on there, oh, no yeah. problem, right? Then what you would do is you take your foil, and here's what you do, Craig, you take your foil, and you lie your foil like so that you can see the colour. That's the trick behind how it all works. You need to be able to see the colour, okay. right? You don't go, don't think, oh, I'm going to put the colour on, I'm going to go no. face down, right? So I do that, rub it, and then when I peel it off, oh, you get wow. the foiled element. Can you see how easy that how was? How easy was that? And then if you want to do a different colour for the sentiment in the middle, right, then all I'm going to do is I'm going to go, right, we'll do this for a happy birthday. So and then I take my happy birthday. And unlike me, Sarah, if you're not comfortable fussy cutting, don't worry, it's not fussy cutting. It's no. just quickly cutting around and getting just, it out. Just a quick cut around. Really simple, right? So I've got the happy birthday now. I'm popping the happy birthday in the centerpiece there. I'm taking on my very professional rubbing tool, <laughs> giving it a little bit of Here's a rub all over the background, right? And then again, you're just going to lift that off, make sure that that whole rub on's transferred. Can you see the happy birthday in there? We can. Then we're going to come, oh, should we go with like, um, I'll go with the nice, the gold now, right? Okay. So you take a little bit of the gold. Again, we're just going straight down, giving it a rub over. That will then transfer so that then we've oh, got wow. the birthday is in one <sighs> colour. Yeah, you can totally That's see that there, epic. can't you? Love it. Birthday is in one colour and the outer piece is in another. That is how the rub ons work. Beautiful. Beautiful. How fab is that? These are so, so busy, which I'm not surprised. Oh my gosh, these launches that we've got today on Crafters TV. Remember, this is day two of our November news. But what we are going to do is we're going to have a quick recap here of our brand new collection here. Uh, we're going to go to Sarah in a second. Lots of you are just going, wow, when it comes to these ones. As I said a moment ago, uh, really, really busy. Uh, so good to see my friend up in Montrose is in. Cat butts in the building saying hi, Sarah and Craig. Alex and the whole team. We've got Johnny, we've got James, we've also got Tracy's in today, Sam's in with her as well, so the full team. Christine Mahoney saying hello everyone. Hannah's in saying good morning. Sarah's Creations is saying good morning Crafty Peeps from a chilly dark Ohio. Alicia's in, Sherry's in, Georgie Ann's in saying hi Craig and Sarah from Clearwater, Florida. Carol's in Carolyn's in from Florida and Laura Simmons in saying the first in Boston folder that Sarah showed looked very art deco. It did. It did, it's got that feel to it. Hey, bring in your own 20s, that's going to be great, isn't it? Uh, right, let's have another look at this showstopper. Thank you, Sarah. The, showing you the full folders and the dies. So I'm going to go over this once again, just so that we can do that. You can then get it in your basket, and then we can go straight to Sarah. And that is featuring the brand new launch. Now, when it comes to the brand new launch, you can get them on their own if you want to. The value is always going to be in the showstopper or the bonus buy if you go for it. Brand new launch, you've got the folders and the dies. Let's just show you them here at the side before I go through all the rest of what you're going to be getting. Because you can see within these ones here, you're going to be getting that beautiful folder with the die that complements. That outer die is then going to release it, of course. But then look at the detail, the swirl, the intricacy, whether you're going to bring in the toppers or sentiments like Sarah was showing in finished samples. Or what about the rub on foils? You can do that, of course. But that is the brand new launch that we've got. But when it comes to the showstopper, what you're also then going to be getting is your tape runners. Two of them, the dots and the straight, 
two pack of your Poké tools. You're also going to get your 12 by 12 linen slash uh, pearlescent cardstock, which is my favourite, and you're going to be getting your five pack of brushes as well. All of that within your uh, showstopper, £70 or $88. That's coming down at a platinum price of £56 or $70.40. Exceptional as it is. When it comes, if we take out the new dies, take that out, everything else, you would have been paying $47.95 or $62.95. But when it comes to the price of that showstopper, it means you're only paying £20 for it. £20 or $30 for all of the additional items as well. Perfect value, beautiful value. But what about the bonus buy? Many of you absolutely wait for the bonus buy to go live, and we've got it for this one as well. Duet ink pads. This isn't three of them, four of them, or six of them. It's the full range of the Duet ink pads. You can go for them on, your, on their own if you want to. We've got them at £68 or $105. Platinum price for these ones here, £54.40, or for you guys stateside, $84. Great price, so many things that you can do with them. What I would say though, seriously, if you can, consider going with these as the bonus buy. If you add them into your showstopper, you'll then get them at half price. You're going to get them for £34 or $52.50. Please remember, you have to add it into the showstopper. Add it into your basket. Add it into your basket. All of it will be ducted once you've signed in on the website. It's all going to be done for you, sorted for you. You're then going to get them both for £104 or $140.50. That's the today's price. The platinum price for that whole lot, you're going to be £83.20 or $112.40. Phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. It's all about options. I said it yesterday. If you want them on their own, they're there. Showstopper on their own, the bonus buy. That's where you want to go. I know what you want to see now, and that's playing. See with them in action. So, Sarah, let's have a look. Come on, I'm going to have a little go with the regal elegance. So, they're all different styles of these, OK? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. Now, can you see in each one, Craig? You are getting the inner die. So, this is going to cut you, like, the, the detail out. You've then got the outer. So, this is going to give you the shaping. So, it's three parts to each one. The shaping, the inner detail die cut, and the embossing folder. So, I'm going to start with the inner detail die, Craig. I'm going to take that. Now, when we're doing our die cutting... I like, when it's an intricate die like this, use it this way up on your die cut machine and then lie your down, die down flat. Now, what I would say is you normally, you'd, oh, oh, we're spinning around here. Usually you don't see me doing this. I always do it the other way. I lie the die so you can see it. But actually, it's going to give you a nicer cut if I hold this down like this. Just, you'll, you'll see what I mean in just a second, Craig, because I'm just trying to get this and line it up. Now, straight through the Gemini. These are intricate dies. So what I want you to do is I want you to take your time, I want you to die cut it, I want you to get your rubber embossing mat out because we're then going to emboss it. So watch this, right? This comes, oh, actually look at that. The, the detail and that is so good. Let's, you don't have to worry about that. I mean, that is what we're talking about. How phenomenal is that, right? Now watch this, make sure if you're gonna go and die cut your next one, okay. pop all those bits out. I always tap on the back here. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna do it in another color so I've got the lovely, now this is your pastel linen card, Craig. I've, the reason I've put the pastels in mm -hmm. this cardstock set is all pastel shades work really well. If you, if you just want to do nice cards, the contrast of having the linen and the pearl together would yes. be so nice it with these. Really I just is. want to, I know a lot of you wait and go for the showstopper, and not just the launch kit. And I wanted to make sure that what I was putting in were things that were going to be really, really useful well, definitely. for you, right? Now look at this, I'm going to give this one a tap here just to get all those bits out. Look at that, even though these are ridiculously intricate dies, Craig, just come out no problem, Whoa. absolutely no problem. And then watch what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use my dotty tape pen, right? So mm -hmm. dotty tape pen, I'm gonna have the gold on the back, so I'm gonna dot over around this one here, right? So just, it's very, very fragile paper. Mm -hmm. Can you see I'm getting a couple of little bits of rips, that's not unusual, don't worry, it's just cause the glue's obviously so yeah. strong, right? So a little bit of tape on there and then your straight tape pen in this middle bit, Craig, because you do want... And that's why you've put them both in. There you go. So you do need a, a lot see? of this stick, right? Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pop this and I'm just going to slightly off center it to the middle so that we get that shadowing. I'll just take you extra there that we don't need. Into there. And this is where you want your pokey tool as well. Ah, no see. accident, guys, no. that we've um, put the stuff in that you really need in this bundle. So you're going to take that pokey tool and we're just going to make sure 
that is positioned to perfection. All right? Okay. Now, for the card I'm going to do, Craig, I'm actually going to do two of those. Right. So then I've got another one that I've die cut. And you'll notice every one of these designs is symmetrical, right? So we've always done them to be symmetrical so that we, they will work really, really well like this. Okay. So same again, lots of tape in the middle, right? And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to just slightly off center this so that we get that lovely shadow yeah, love coming the shadow. all the way through, right? Now, what I want to do next is show you how you're going to use these with the shaping die. So look at this, I'm going to bring in a nice base here and I want to pop these onto so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my embossing folder down the middle right okay. and then I want to put these either side now use your mat with the sizing right oh poor James all over I'm yeah. trying to go to your <laughs> shop bless you right so can you see so it's just over eight inches so the halfway part would be four so that foot needs to be in the middle lining those up in the middle and then this die this next one it's going to give you that shaping around the outside okay. so once we've got that in place you pop your die down i might bring this a little bit further out towards the edge yep happy with that hold it in place with the tape and we're going to run it through now oh, if you just want you could either shape the whole card craig right. so if i was shaping the whole card I would have this cutting through both levels, but as it is, I'm not. I'm just going to have it cut through the front. Okay. Right? So when we're having it cut through the front, you're just going to go on. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this onto my base here. Right. I'm going to then, so that you can see it, put my clear cutting mm -hmm. mat on. Yep. Top mat. Got you. Top one. Go through, and we're going to do that on both the front both and the them. back. Just to say, Sarah, if you do want to go for just the frame edge and boston folders and dies on their own as a four pack, you can absolutely do that. Details are on the screen right now, £50 or $58, platinum £40 or $46, 40 But you've known by the way that I've gone over it, the value's always in that showstopper. You've got the bonus buy if you want, but the option is there if you just want the new launch on the website. Right, so there is my left cut, right? Then I'm going to do exactly the same and bring over the right cut. So just, I'm just going to try and eyeball it, uh, eyeball, eyeball, <laughs> eyeball it, Craig, and leave the same sort of space on the other side and then run that through a second time, right? right? Okay. So the same, and all I'm doing is I'm giving my card this shaping. Yeah. And it's, do you know what we haven't done? We don't have... In fact, I can't think of any other ranges of dies that have been designed this way to give us the opportunity to do that shaping. It's just a little bit different, a mm -hmm. little bit unique, and it's going to give you a slightly different look. E, look, I put my plates in, in the wrong order there. Oh. I mean, it didn't didn't hurt it, but in case you shout at the screen going, Sarah, you're Someone will notice. Going, Stop, what are you doing? Someone's going to have been shouting, aren't they? Right, watch this. Once you get to this stage, Craig, cut along the line to where this is starting. Right, okay. and then I'm going to do the same again here. I'm going to take my die off and I'm going to go and cut along the line, right, and just to the part where this starts. There we go. And then once you've got that nice and neat, I always then go back in yeah. and just make sure, because that's where you want the nice, neat edge cut there. I like that shape even as it is, just to come along with isn't some nice? toppers or something. It's a little bit different, isn't it? Is. it? Right? So I've got my base card, I've got my toppers ready, I just want to do a little bit now with the uh, embossing folder. So, where is my embossing folder? Here it is. Now, if you have a little bit of a feel, you've got the deboss and you've got the emboss section. The emboss is on the one where it says Crafter's Companion. I'm going to use those duet ink pads. Okay, brilliant. Because if there was ever a time to do it, it's when we've it's got... It's now. Yeah. I, I want you to see just how intensive the colours are, all right? Now, you can either rub it straight on like this, or you could use your brayer, mm -hmm. right? Whatever... Um, so I'm just going to give it a little bit of a pat there so that we get like the, the pat action into the background there as opposed to the swirling action, right? And then if I take my little bit piece of cardstock, I, I'm going to put, uh, yep. So I'm going to pop that on there and I'm going to pop this, I'm going to fold this over so that you'll get that lovely embossed panel 
with the detail in the background. All right, right. So then we'll go on to there. Because it's a regular embossing folder, I'm just going to go with my two embossing panels, send that through. Sarah, we are incredibly busy on the website with you guys waiting to check out. And we're waiting to see what Sarah's doing here. Once Sarah's finished, we're going to give you an opportunity to check out your basket. We're that busy for the new launch. <sighs> <laughs> I better get cracking then. I better get cracking. Right. So can you see? There's the pattern. Beautiful. That you've got there with that lovely embossed detail in the background. I'm just going to matte and layer that, and I will pop it together. Do you know what I'd love to know in the comments, Craig? Mm -hmm. Are people going for the new dies and embossing folders? Mm -hmm. Are they going for the new rub-ons? Yep. Are they adding a few packs of the cardstock? into mm -hmm. their uh, bundle, the, the new card and envelope packs. Building what your is own it? basket, Are yeah. you shopping the £10 Tuesday? Will you let us know let in the comments? Know. Don't Don't do that at the expense of getting it though, guys. Go and get yourself checked out and then come and let Definitely, us know what you've checked yeah. out for, right? So that goes in the middle. You've got the two that we did now. I'm going to go again. Dotty tape pens on the back, Craig. So dotty tape pens all round here, and you can be a little bit more forthright when you're doing it with yes. the um, with the mirror card behind. It's just the linen effect card that's always quite sensitive. So I'm coming in with my nice straight pen, tape pens there. These are going to come, and they just go beautifully into those nice little gap. Look at that! Isn't that that's coming together nicely? So elegant. So right. Elegant. So I'm going to do the same on both sides, right? Okay. There we go, got that done perfectly. I've just got, I've just done a nice little sentiment, celebrate your special day. Oh, and gosh. what I am going to do, I think, yes, if, I, if, there's, if there's any left in here, tiny last <laughs> little dregs of the, um, oh, have we, have we got tiny little last dregs of the collar? We've got some, we've got we some might in be there. Oh, oh, yeah, there's the last little bit. Squeeze it out. One, and then, but this is the sort of collection, Sarah, you're going to bring back in your uh, set with style, sentiments and stamps yes. and bring all them back in. Yeah, you go, you're going piece. to want to use all yeah, that, it's going to make all the difference. Yeah, I'm going to add a little butterfly there. And then Now that on the white looks quite plain, it Does. but as soon as I bring in... Ah. Look after, <laughs> I've been cut in the middle of the cardstock, <laughs> don't like to waste any, right? Me and Debbie were talking about that yesterday. Do you know, I did a, I did a gut and I, did, I showed people how to do that on Friday and a lot of people in the comments saying they've never done that before. That's, oh, it's such a good thing to so, do. There we go. Into the background, pop that on. Wow. That's what we're talking about. It's that lovely shaping and that is using all the bits together. That's using the, um, the embossing folder, the die cuts, the shaping dies. I think they look brilliant. They really, really do. How fab are those? Just to say as well, Kim, so the actual height of them are uh, six inches. Uh, the die's about 5.8 5, 5 inches. So that could be, see, the height. But look at the length. You know, you could do it larger. It just depends when it comes to the folder in the moment. Uh, right, let's have a wee look at the boards here that you have got when it comes to the brand new launch, when it comes to the frame edge folders and dies. That is then giving you, as you've seen what Sarah just showed you there with the finished samples, nothing stopping you mixing and matching the folders with the other die sets. But if you want to go for just the brand new launch on its own with these four sets, you can absolutely do that. It's there on the website, but we'll go over that showstopper just in a second. I mean, look at this one as well. Beautiful designs, elegant detail, that outer die as well. So you can see when you've got all of those, they're on the website on their own, but they are part of the Showstopper. Showstopper is giving you the 12 by 12 cards. It's also then giving you your blending brushes, the five of them, the two pokey tools, the tape runner that's the dots, and also the straight edge. £70 or $88, your platinum price of £56 or $70.40. It works out when it comes to all the extras, apart from the new die sets, works out you're getting all the extras extras for £20 or $30, which usually you would be around about £50 or $60. Great saving there. Add the bonus buy. When it comes to the Duet ink pads, it means you're going to get them half price. So the whole lot, Showstopper and the Duet ink pads, £104 or $140.50, with your platinum price, comes down to $83.20 or $112.40. Not surprised, most of you are going with the Showstopper, even adding the uh, bonus buy. Uh, right, giving you guys the opportunity to go and check out your basket. Go, 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 and we'll be back in a minute. What makes Crafters TV so special is uh, you guys. It's really special because the the experts are really experts. They're they're um, 
really skilled at what they do. And they want to make sure that the audience also improves on their skills. Crofters TV is so special because you've got together a really sort of key group of people um, and people that are very passionate about the products. Crafters TV is so special because it's a unique community that we have with each other where we can learn and grow and communicate with each other. The community, the family spirit, the education, everything to do with craft. We are all like-minded people who share a passion. I love all the inspiration the demonstrators bring and all the knowledge for us out here. What makes Crafters TV so special, 100%, is the interaction. No other crafting TV channel or show has the same interaction. I love the community, I love chatting live, uh, I think that's the best part and uh, it's gone beyond crafting because we've become friends. It feels to me to be a really, really close relationship with our customers and viewers. You guys make us feel like we're part of your family. I've never been on the show before, but one of my friends who I did meet from CCTV encouraged me and I was on the craft along. A massive team of people and I think they've all got their role to play uh, and it just brings everything together. It allows us to do our job and just love it. Ah, oh, the people obviously, the people not just here at Crafts Companion, uh, but the viewers that watch us, I mean everybody. We have this real magical essence about it. Bye for now. Bye. If you love Crafters TV, we've made it easy for you to watch us wherever you are. Whether you catch us on your tablet or take us with you on your mobile phone, it's easy to watch us anywhere. From here to here. Maybe don't watch us here. It would be easy to watch us here. Probably the easiest place to watch us is here. Crafters TV, with you wherever you are. Many of our viewers bring up time and time again, and that's our wax seal, seal gate. Thinking though, it might not work as well because I put too much. <laughs> Oh, I've forgotten to put me, um, <laughs> me thing in place. <laughs> because I have a way of words, but I think that doesn't engage with that and can come out all wrong. Water. That, that wasn't the one you just washed your brush in, was it? Sorry. Yes. But it doesn't matter. <laughs> no, it wasn't, was it? It was. Are you kidding? I'm going to have to say, it's a slip of the tongue. I'm going to say it's maybe to do with my Scottish accent. I'm maybe going to say it's because of Mr. Uh, ben Mosby. He is, well, yeah, he doesn't help matters. Fire 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 um, I've made pots that have exploded when I fired them. I've done zips in inside out. It happens to everybody. We've all spilt our glitter all over our project or knocked the water over. You are. I've just noticed I've got my dress on inside out. <laughs> <laughs> so I was messing about doing some backgrounds with the sparkling, took the lid off it and managed to catch the pot somehow and the whole thing came towards me, down my front, across my lap, onto the floor. I went to reach for the water and, you know, do the, the, the tapping with the, the... And so there was less tapping and more sort of a tsunami. Um, <laughs> I've got some... <gasps> Going for the showstopper in your droves. Uh, Christy Mone saying, that's so gorgeous, Sarah. I love it. It's elegant. So now is saying, wow, stunning card, Sarah. Jeanette is saying, Sarah, I'm buying it all. Buying it all. Michelle good Harris, good choice, good, good choice. choice. Michelle is saying, wow, that is so elegant. I love it. I love that antique green. Helen saying, hello, everyone at CCTV. Not uh, checked in for a couple of days now. Been a little bit busy, but have been watching the shows. Loving all the launches. It's great to see Sarah, the crafting queen. Uh, she's so quick, but so good. A uh, lot of love for what you were making as well. Yeah, please keep letting us know. It's uh, Alex on the social for the two shows. Uh, what are you going for? The showstopper? Are you going to the bonus buy? Please remember, card blanks. I'm going to keep saying it all day today. 
You know how much that I've been wanting to have these in stock for you guys because you've been asking and they're there. Go onto the website, .co.uk.com or .eu. Simple thing, go into new, you're going to see the brand new launch today. But when you're in there, you've got the options that I've talked you through. As you start to then scroll down, what you're going to start to see is our card blanks. Now, there's the rub-ons that we'll go over again just shortly. You but won't our card have the blank. big heart-shaped things, guys. That's just our computer. Yes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. different to ours. You've got your ivory. You've then got your craft. Most of them are in the craft in the white. But look, 8x8, eight 6x6, eight, six six, 7x7. Seven you guys stateside tell us it's hard to get a variety of different card blank sizes. We've got them now for you. As we start to go down, we've got A3 cardstock, block color cardstock. We're going down into more card blanks that you can see. These are 100 sheets of your A4 card as well when it comes to uh, the sizes. But then when we go into the next page, we've even got you now our cello bags. If you make to sell, perfect, five and a half inches. You've got your A5, you've got your 8x8. Then we're going to go into our A3 and our 12x12 12 cardstock. We've got linen cardstock. We've got smooth white card. We've then got them when it comes to the black card. We've got 100 piece sheets in there as well. These are going to work so well with all of the launches, not just this week or not just concepts when it comes to cards if you take your seven by seven of course fold it in half there's a fold blank perfect awesome make sure you're stocking out on them i don't know how long they're going to last now that we've got them in stock i think they're going to come in and go so today with the brand new launch the way that sarah's going to show that you can use them this is the perfect time to get them of course and you've got the envelope we we'll love making our own but it is handy having the coordinated envelope straight away <sighs> One other thing. <laughs> just while you're out, just, just while you're thinking. Just while I'm thinking, just while I'm thinking, £10, $10 Tuesday. Take advantage there. Remember, anything like that, absolutely anything and everything, even at Club Inspire weekend last weekend, you get your Club Inspire. It doesn't matter how much you get that Club Inspire. Taking advantage today is definitely the absolute day to do that. Now, don't worry, I'm not going to go over it in full detail because we went over it not that long ago. But what we do when we come back after Sarah, I'll talk you all through it. But this is the showstopper. You've got the showstopper with the brand new launch. It's giving you the card pads, your adhesives, your blending brushes as well. We've put them in there because you might want to go for the bonus buy. Bonus buy by adding that into your basket with the showstopper. That means you're going to get the full set of duet ink pads for half price. So showstopper and the duet ink pads at a platinum price, eighty-three. Pound twenty or one hundred and twelve dollars forty, and that's going to give you all of that. Not surprised we are so so busy. The ways that we can use them, the styles that we can use them, Sarah, it's just incredible, isn't it? It is indeed. And do you know what? There's, so you saw the designs. There's three of the more kind of square rectangular designs. There's one that is the semicircle. So I wanted to jump in straight away and use that one. And it's called Antique Filigree. Okay. So this is the Antique Filigree one. Now, if you miss me explaining at the top of the show, guys, right? Each pack. You are going to get the embossing folder. You're going to get the interior die. So if I take this off the thing, you'll see a little bit better, right? Okay. So you've got the interior cutting die, you've got the outer cut shape, and you've got the embossing folder, right? So I'm going to start off, I'm going to cut that lovely interior cutting die. Now, if you saw in that last demo, the tip I was giving people, right, is I want you to use that magnetic positioner. So it does make life a little bit easier, okay? So I'm going to pop the magnetic positioner down. I'm going to cut into the purple first of all. So I put the top on there and I send it through and it just means your, your die cuts become quick and easy mm -hmm. you know and, and especially because I like to layer them up in multiple colors so I want to do one in like the purple for example okay. right and I can lift that off I mean this by the way top tip and I'll show you that instead of you seeing on the close if I'll let you see me right if you ever do this I always tap the straight yeah. edge of the die that's the end of the table right don't ever want you to tap the cutting edge against the end. I want you to tap the back of the die. And that's given me that lovely cut, right? Okay. Make sure you get all these little bits out. Then pop your die down. We can go in with the next piece. So I can put the next piece on. Again, I can put the top plate on here, send it through. And again, it's like seconds to do each uh, cut. Yeah. So I've got one in the purple. And I'm going to contrast the purple with that lovely shade of like, it's like a peachy shade. Mm -hmm. And again, it's another lovely one. Take it off. Once we take that off, I'm going to tap that on the back of the table. So again, I'm using the outer part. Give it a bit of a tap. Take that off. And then you'll see that now, this is going to look lovely. Either the purple behind the 
um, like the peach. That's striking, or yeah. Even the peach behind the purple oh, wow. looks really nice as well, doesn't it? So, and again, I want you to do that a couple of times, yeah. right? Okay. So the card I've done, I've done the purple behind the peach. But I, yeah, I'll do that. I quite, I quite like that, right? So you're going to use your dotty tape pen. Oh, that, and that will happen, guys. Don't it worry. It's just because the tape's so strong, right? So just try and be a little bit careful, which is not a word in my vocabulary. <laughs> As you know, I'm the most heavy-handed crafter we have here at uh, Crafter's Companion. Uh, <laughs> use your straight tape pen in the middle. And again, I love to just ever so slightly off-centre them, yeah. right? So there's one. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I've got my nice, lovely, I've got the, the peach. And I'm going to take it round. So if you're being careful, take it to the outside like this. Look at that, you see. And then I'm less likely to tear the cardstock. That's, that's how you be a little bit more careful, right? If Leanne was here, I'd be being careful all the time. But as <laughs> she's away on holiday, yeah. She's never going to know. I'm not going to be in trouble. Well, it was good uh, to see the way you'd done that a moment ago, sir. And, and for me, and it's just the way that I am, I never tend to think about putting the light card to the back. Now, the way that you showed it, that would have been really striking nice. as well. It Look, I've got nice, another one it? here. Do you want me to show you the option, the other option if you put the light card to the back? If you could, yeah. So I can show you, so because I always have a one just in case we get rushed on the show and I don't have time to do them all. Um, so I can show you the spare one that I've done here. Because how it's different dark, it looks. you usually think is that being the dark shadow, but yeah. how incredible does that look having the yeah. light to the With back the as well? The shadow there. And then now for the card, I've literally, we'll be using these new card blanks all the time, guys. Makes life so much easier, right? Six by six card, but your six by six cards can be turned into easels, they can mm -hmm. be turned into fold backs. Look what I've done. Put a score line across the middle, right? Look at the different types of cards we can do now. So that's a fold back. Right? If you did two of them, Craig, you would have a gatefold yeah, you would. beaten in the middle. If you want to do an easel card, fold that in the middle and you just take another piece of cardstock, stick it on the front. There's your easel card on there. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to give it the fold back. Oh, you can do it the fold back this way and I get a nice clean fold on there. I have done a little bit of matting and layering here. So I'm just using that same nice core coloured card with a little bit of the picked in. I, I chose the purple because I was using this lovely um, cardstock with the purple in there. Right. But look, I'm going to use all these three pieces here just to matte and layer all of my kind of central bits there, right? So just, and it gives the card a lot of structure and rigidity as well, Go right? Yeah. So we've got the lovely car base, structure and rigidity, right? This is also going to be a great collection, Sarah, to bring in my special papers. Oh, like, brilliant. What? Yeah. Brilliant. And, 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 you know, I know loads of you picked that up when we launched it, and it's great for you to have all that collection now. Now, look at this. If I put that on there, it's a little bit flimsy. There's not enough going on with it, right? However, I can use now the outer, sh the outer shaping, right? And what you can do is we can go oh, and get that tape off there. Oh, it's nice and strong, that tape to hold it in place. Right, I'm going to hold one piece down. I'm going to cut out the whole piece, Craig. So I'm going to cut out one shape, first of all, and let's have a look. I'll try okay. and be a bit more economical with my cardstock. So I'm just going to send that through and uh, cut it out. Oh, awesome. Awesome. A lot of people just uh, appreciate in the way that you kind of uh, quickly explained the ways that you can use your card blanks. You don't need to keep them square. No. By simple doing that fold, it could be an angle, twisted, easel, fold back, gate fold. And the other good thing as well is usually our card blanks, we make it from our A4. Well, it's not quite six by six. If you want that true six by six, we've got yeah. them now covered on the website. That's it. And a lot of people do like to have the true six by I six. I do. I, uh, yeah. Are you one of them? I am. There's always some, isn't There's there? There's always some. There's always awkward some. Scottish so if, guy. If you want that, if you want the true six by six, I think it um, it's nice to nice to be able to mm -hmm. do that, right? Yes. So look at this. I've just turned the die round. I'm taking the other side there, Craig. I'm going to send that through. So now I've been able to cut the perfect outer shape to be the nice matte and layer. And that's the beauty of these dies. They've all got the outer as well as the inner detail cut on there. So let's have a little look there. Now that comes off just, there we go. And you might need to just, the little pips there, and then those little pips at the edges, I'm just gonna take them off there. One, two on there. Now I've got a lovely background piece so that these here, I'm gonna be able to go 
and do a nice, in fact, to be honest, this would probably be nice with just the stick in the centre. Mm -hmm. really Might nice. give me a little bit of a lift around there. But you've got that lovely kind of um, shape around the outside. Gosh. Just gives you that nice matte layer to go around the outside. Oh, no, need to go along a little bit further. Uh, good job I only stuck... Look how strong our tape pens are. I mean, can we just appreciate they that they are the best tape strong. pens in the world, right? Let's have a little look. Make sure I've got you lined up perfectly in the centre. And it's a good point there a moment ago. If you place it, but don't press too hard, you can still move it. But then once you commit to that well, stick... Well, I, I, I was committed, oh, wasn't I, Craig? There's no going back. I was full on. Sarah was committing. Right. There we go. So, stuck them down. There's my lovely background piece. And if I bring that card on, I'm just going to go nice and simple. I'm going to marry that down the centre, but only stick it onto half of the card. So, a little bit of tape down there. We'll get that stuck down just on half of the card. Catherine's gone for the showstopper. Well nice. done, Catherine. Most the of you is, are. There, look at this, right? Now, that's lovely, but remember you've got that embossing folder as well. So if you want to take it a little bit further and do something where I put my embossing folder. My embossing folder, it's under here, right? Now, your embossing folder there, look what I've done. I've just cut, Craig, three little strips of card. Right? Now, each one of these, I'm going to pop it in the embossing folder. And look at this. You don't need to have the strip of card be the full size of the embossing folder. A lot of people really feel like you need to do that. You mm -hmm. don't. You can just do them. You can do them any size smaller, or you can do bigger, and you can marry your embossing folder along and get it going along true, several that's times. that's true, yes. And watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take that design, right? But I'm going to use the duet ink pad now. Now, really important, when you use the duet ink pad, guys, to get the best coverage with them, you're going to use these brushes, right? So you're going to use the special brushes, which obviously we're giving you, yeah? And you're going to use these, and look how easy it is to just apply that colour around the outside. So yeah, it's nice and smooth, and you get that lovely kind of brushed effect there. So it works wonderful with all of your embossing folders, right? So you can take that design, give it around the embossing folders. Now that's the sunrise gold. We've got a couple of different shades. I use the nice orangey one here, and then just I'm just going to add them on. I'm going to go one, uh, two, three onto there, and I'm just you know when we're sticking them down flat like that, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of um, all-purpose adhesive. Okay. So we've got time. Just in light of the fact that I put that first one down, Craig, and I didn't manoeuvre it into, pla into place very well. So that's why you've gone to that one. I'm C. going to go with this glue here so that I've got that manoeuvrability time. And also, if I get any bits oozing out, it doesn't matter. So watch this, you see, I can just go down. I'm not too concerned that they're in the right place because once I get to here, mm -hmm. I'm manoeuvring them exactly to where I want them. So that, when it comes to glue schooling, guys, that would always be my recommendation is if you're not too sure, do this. Look at that, I'm just rubbing away all the excess glue and I've got them now perfectly aligned yeah. for exactly where I want. And if you were watching myself and Debbie yesterday and you got that bundle with all that all-purpose glue, there you go, you're going to be able to use it as well with this new launch. Wishing you happiness today and always. Sending love. And then just a nice little thing. I love thing. that colour tone. Isn't it lovely? And they're, they're kind of like, um, they're the staple core pieces. That, you're gonna, that you should have in every collection, Greg. I mean, that's the difference. Staple core pieces in every collection. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. In a couple of minutes, you're going to see it aligned just in front of me with our first demonstration there as to what one will be demo of the show at the end of this show. But there we go. That's another idea that you can then start to make and create at home when it comes to our brand new launch. Now, when it comes to the brand new launch, let's go into it a little bit deeper once again here because you can, if you want to go for just the actual collection, the brand new launch, you can absolutely do that. And they're there on the website for you to grab hold of. You're going to get all four sets. Now, OK, you've got all four sets. Here we go. It's just coming into it. There we go. Right to the side just there. But then each four sets, what you're going to get is you're going to get your two dies, the detail die and also the outer die, plus you're going to get the folder as well. Then you're going to get your third set. And then last, but by no means least, you're then going to be getting your four. So as you can see, that square look, 
that oval look, you've got more of the rectangle, and then of course you've got that more ornate kind of square as well. So that is the brand new launch folders. If you want them on their own, they're there on the website. But what we have got is we've got the showstopper. Now, when it comes to the two demos that Sarah have done, you've seen how the showstopper, as always, they all work together and it all serves a purpose. You've got your dots and you've got your straight. Anyone that's relatively new to, to us at Crafters TV, our tape runners are 22 metres in length. Standard ones, other companies, are 10 metres, maybe 12, 10 or 12, but ours are 22 metres in length. So in some cases, you're getting double. You're also getting the blending brushes that Sarah was using. You're getting the five of them. And my absolute favourite, pastel 12 by 12 cardstock. All of that, including the pokey tools, £70 or $88. That platinum price comes down to £56 or $70.40. Just to say, if we take out the brand new launch, so the card, the brushes, the pokey tools and the two tape runners, if you were to go for them on their own, they would be £47.95 or $62.95. When it comes to the showstopper bundle, you're essentially you're paying 20 quid or $30 for it. So that's, and you're going to be using these out with the brand new launch as well. So that's your showstopper bundle on the website. Please do, if you've not got the Duet ink pads, consider adding this to the showstopper to give you the bonus buy. That is the full set of our Duet ink pads. I'm just going to briefly bring in the board just to give you that indication of all colours that you've got. 12 colours that you've got here and you're going to be able to then put them onto your smoother card, your texture card, but you can do lots of different techniques as well. 12 of them, £68 or $105 with a platinum price of £54.40 or $84. Would you like them half price? If you want the full lot, half price, you can get them half price by adding them to your basket. So on the website, add in the showstopper and add in the duet ink pads. It does tell you on the website that there's a bonus buy available, but I'm telling you right now. Add that into your basket. Please always remember and log in first of all, so your Club Inspire is all going to be deducted for you. That then activates them at half price. So you're getting the full showstopper and the 12 duet ink pads. You're going to get them for a platinum price of £83.20 or for you guys stateside, £112.40. They're there for you guys, Central Europe as well, on .eu. You just need to check out your website. But you have got absolute essentials to make your cards. You've got the dies, you've got the Ds, you've got the cards. If you go for the Duet ink pads, you've got your blending brushes. You're going to go for the card blanks. You're going to go for the A3, the 12 by 12 potentially, all there on the website. Think about the cello bags as well. We have absolutely got you covered today in all levels when it comes to the website. It is November news. We've got a brand new launch every single day today. Oh my God, do you know something? I think we've got more launches just today than the whole week combined. Kit, certainly, when it comes to the rub-on transfers as well. Um, and they've been popular too. They've been so, so popular. Let's bring them in. We are going to go to Sarah, but let's just bring these ones in here because look at these. Now, you're going to get your two packs, and I'm going to talk you through them here. Now, you are going to get the rub-on foils, but look at these. These are kind of your ideas of designs. Now, with these ones, you're going to get six designs and two of each, but then you're going to get the foils too. Now, the foils are actually what's been used on these ones. So you've got your teals there, your silvers, your rose gold. You can see all of these designs, and that is from that pack there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to bring in the other one. They are available individually if you want to. If you just want to go for them, you can do. But when it comes to the value, the value is always going to be within the double pack. You can see all of these designs. Sarah showed you right at the top of the show how you can use them. These are so, so simple. But once again, you're going to get six designs, two of each. And then when it comes to the foil colours, you're going to get three of each. That goes for that other pack as well. Absolutely beautiful designs. These are going to be so good good for the corner of your cards, maybe your card blanks, but when it comes to that one, that's how that one looks, £48 or $58 with a platinum price of £38.40 or $46.40. We'll also be having another in-depth look later on at the night with Lily, Lily's going to be taking over, she'll be here with me in launch party and we'll look at them there as well. But I know it's the launch you guys want to see, so we're going to do that, we're going to go straight back to the boss and we're going to have a look at these in more detail. Do you know you could do me a favour, Craig? Of course. Will you go and have a little scramble out the back with Tracy, see if you can find any plain vellum? 
plain vellum. Mm, of course I'd I can. I'd love to show people, if not, bring, in, bring me some of the, the flowery vellums that we do. I'd love okay. to show people how they rub onto vellum as well. This is, I just saw this and I thought, oh, we could try that. This is onto vellum as well. And then vellum that's being coloured with your duet ink pads afterwards. Or even this, create the beautiful background pattern and then rubbing on over top of the background pattern. Now, if you do them on watercolour cards, you can be doing them on the watercolour and then watercolouring into them. How fabulous is that? And again, can you see we've used different colours? So this time we've done the um, we've used the green for the stem, and then used the the different colour of the like the magenta for the floral bits. Used some of the butterflies in the background. <gasps> There's a one I was dying to see if we had one onto acetate. I'm going to show you how to do it on acetate. I think that looks fabulous. Where you've got the uh, the corners in the background, and then that lovely acetate in the foreground. Now you do only get two sheets oh he's come up trumps as our creek you only get two sheets of each rubber in the set right so i'm showing you what they do oh i'm gonna have to show you one more again that's watercolored isn't that lovely with the watercolouring cream? I'm going to show everybody it's really how you nice. do them onto watercolour card, how you can do them onto um, acetate, do them onto vellum. Um, but I will just show you quickly what, um, how the designs work. So Craig was showing you all the different designs. What's on the screen is the twin pack, right? You can go onto the website. We have them available individually if you want, and we have the separate ones. Now, if you go for this set here, which is called Shine Like a Star, right? The, you can see the sort of designs that you're getting in the front. You get 12 sheets of the rub-ons and 12 sheets of the foil that goes with it, right? Okay. Now, the rub-ons, now obviously I've started using that one, but you can see here the rub-ons are all clear because they're actually just adhesive, right? So you're getting pages and pages, of two pages of each of all these rub-ons where you've got lovely big borders, you've got corners, you've got sentiments, all these different pieces that are going to work with each other. But then also, you saw me earlier, I did this one, where I foiled this in one colour, and I've mm -hmm. got it just here, guys, so I can show you, actually. I foiled that in the one colour, and then I used the Happy Birthday, which is just this one down here, popped it into the centre and did that in another colour. So that's how you use the two colours. If you missed the demo, guys, I'll show you it again. Don't worry, right? Okay. So you've got all of these different designs that you're going to be working with. And then in Shine Like a Star, the colours that you get of the foil, you're going to get the rose gold, you're going to get the silver, you're going to get the, uh, the bronze, and also that lovely gold nice. in there, right? So those are the different kind of shades and colours that you get. Then the other set was um, Make-A-Wish. And in your Make-A-Wish, I'll quickly show you, because I've got them on the top, all of the colours. So the colours that come in here, can you see, you get like the lovely cerise, mm -hmm. you get that lovely purple in there, you get the blue and also the green shades in there, right? So those are all your shadings. And then if I show you those rub-ons, and they're just different design patterns, guys. We just kind of split them into two packs. Okay. But if you go for the, the big collection that's on your screen, you're getting the bumper pack with all of them. So then you would get 24 sheets of rub-ons and 24 sheets of foil, okay? I quite like this. I'm desperate to do this and show you. I, I, like I also want to show well. everybody how you do the different um, sentiments. Oh, these would look lovely with the brand new designs that we've just gone Good. for. Uh, would go with all those sets. I think a lot of people are going for them that together. Are... We didn't necessarily design them to be going together. I'm going to pull this one out. Do you know what I'm lovely. thinking, Sarah? You know how you showed some with the res resist effect? Yep. What about the sunbeam and moonbeam <gasps> shimmer palettes? Love, oh yes, you could be doing, there, there, yeah. this is what's on the, with the paint and the yeah. sunbeam and the moonbeam behind them, fabulous, right? Shall we have a little look? Let me show you how they work, okay? So I'm going to take that design and all you do is you cut around it, right? So these are all individual rub-ons, right? So I've got just that one individual rub-on. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to do it onto some acetate. So there is a piece of acetate there, guys. I'm not just doing it onto, <laughs> onto nothing as it was. Then watch what you do is you just peel the backing sheet off, right? Once we've got the backing sheet off there, you can position that down into the corner of your your paper, your acetate, whatever it is, mm -hmm. and give it a rub. Now, use your bone folder, or if you can't find your bone folder, as I couldn't, you can just use use your finger, use the back of the spoon. I'm using my nail here just to <laughs> rub onto them. I just want you to see you can literally rub over with every, anything, right? Now, once you get to this stage, it's going to be almost impossible for you to see on the acetate, right? But if I start peeling it up, what I'm doing is... I'm looking to make sure that all of that design is transferred and it's not left on the back of here. 
because anything that is left on the back, the good thing is you can pop it down and re-rub it Oh, on. that's good to know. Right? So I've got all of it. You can see that on there. And then I'm going to come in. Now let's use the nice uh, bright blue one here, right? So once we've got it down, you just position your foil over the top. You're going to give it a little bit of a rub with the foil. And there's no, there's no special technique to this. There's no right or wrong way, okay? We're just rubbing the foil over. And then you, when you lift that off, can you see? It attaches. I mean, you can see that, but you can see where it's come off beautifully, can't you? How incredible does that look? And the shine on the... Imagine that as the bottom part of your card Could for you like imagine? an acetate wrap. Yeah. And I want you to see how it'll go into all different surfaces. I want it to do it on the foil. I also want to do it onto a little bit of mirror card. So let's imagine now we're going to take the mirror card and we're going to take that lovely feather, right? And you've seen this used on a couple of lovely projects. So again, all I'm doing is peeling the back off. Once we've got that back off, Oh, here we go. Oh, I need to go shopping after this show. The rub-ons are absolutely wow. outstanding. And you're getting so many of them created. I'll have to have a little count up of how many there are on there. Because bear in mind, in the pack, you're getting 24 sheets. Exactly. Right? So, and then all I do is I come and I lift that off. You can see that that's transferred onto it. So this is now just scrap. It was just the carrier sheet, right? I'll just go with the, um, the blue while we're still on here. Now, this is where you could be using multiple different colours. You could be putting your gilding flakes on here. It's basically just an adhesive. We're giving you the foil. Oh, I'm going to rub down the top here, make sure I've got all of that captured. Yes, I have. Yes, I have there now. Yes. Oh, my gosh. And that, you, just, you just need to sit. And now that's on. That's it. You know, you, you, you rub it and it comes off. That is on and that's settled. And then the last one I wanted to show, oh no, actually I've got a couple I'm going to have to show you, wasn't that crazy? Because I was wanting to show everybody um, on the watercolour card, right? So, and I wanted to show you how the two colours work. Mm -hmm. So let's have a little look. If we go on with that one, right? And then let's have a little look. Thank you so much. That'll go in the middle of there as well. So say we were going to do the two together, right? All we do is we start with this first one, peel it off at the background, Craig, Pop it down. Oh, do you know it's nice on the watercolour card because you can see it, can't you? Can you? See it. Yeah, right? You so can I'm do. just giving it a nice little rub all over the background. Now and I'm not even using my teaspoon here. Are just joining us now and seeing this for the first time and don't like fussy cut and you don't need to fussy cut them. Just quickly cut around the actual shape. Yeah. I mean it's like you say, that's not a fussy cut at all, is no. it? Not that's just been a just got a go for it cut, right? Uh, right, while I'm on, let's have a little look. Shall I, go, shall I try some? I'm mixing and matching the two sets now. I'm going with the rose gold. I've gone with the rub-on from the Make-A-Wish and then the rose gold from the other, from the other set. Well, those that and are then, going for it are going for both of them. You're going, yeah. you're going for the set, which I'm not surprised. There we go. Now you've got that lovely oh foil gosh, background. Sorry. Do you know what? I'll give you another tip as well. If you're not very good at rubbing, put them through your Gemini. OK. Right? So what you can do is... You could put the thank you so much, uh, thank you so much, right? Once you've got it at that point, all you would do is you would make up your sandwich in your Gemini. So we'll go one, two, um, oh, I'm going to go under there, I'm going to use my nice straight leg. So you put the four, you put your four plates in, so there's just no dye in the centre, because all it's doing is applying pressure. Gotcha. So all I'm doing is rubbing all over the background. If you don't want to just apply a little bit of pressure, Use your Gemini machine to apply pressure. That'll give you a nice even pressure. So if you're, if you're all about wanting to get it absolutely perfect, and you see that, and then all I do is, now when I peel that off, that's come on no problem, right? And then you can come in, again, with one of the colours, and then you can either send that through your Gemini machine again, or it doesn't need quite as much rubbing when it's on this one here. Thank you so much. And then let's have a little look. I've just missed the tiny little bit on the top of the thing. Look at that there, right? Oh, so and you can wow. see, and that is layering up foil colours on top of each other. So if you want, you know you want to get it perfect, pop it through your Gemini, that'll give you a lovely finish to that. How epic is that? And that is why so many are going for, most of you are going with them with the new launch today, but there is so many you're going for them on their own as well. You're going to get them all, as Sarah was saying, I'm just going to show you the packs here that you've got. So I know Sarah went through the designs as well as the foils, but you're getting them both together. It's the two packs, but you can see they're in total, including the actual transfer foils. You're getting 48 sheets in total. £48 or $58 for you guys stateside, £38.40 or $46.40. So that's 
that launch when it comes to what we're launching today. Something that launched on Friday, it was Aaron Ben, and it just continues to be Saturday when I was here with Lily. Oh my gosh, you were lapping all these up. And I'm not surprised because I went and purchased a load of them for myself too. And that is our Glitter Ombre cardstock. Now, not only that, you're going to get the Neon Dreams. We've got them both together here. Now, when it comes to both of these ones here, so you're getting your uh, four pads in total. So let's show you the, we'll call it the Neon Dreams. I call it the Debbie Robinson and paper pad. You've got your 24 sheets here. Now these are 300 GSM so when you've watched Sarah lately when it comes to the construction shows and the box making you can absolutely do that. 12 by 12 in size but they are double sided. Now when it comes to the actual neon dreams for me it's like the marble effect. You've got some of the animal print in there. You've got your distressed background. You've got your water effects but it's all within that neon dream pattern. Absolutely exquisite. These ones here where it's got less of a pattern what about bringing in some of these adhesive foil transfers? Phenomenal. But you've got your 12 by 12 and you're getting exactly the same when it comes to the 6 by 6. It's just been shrunk down. Now, what we have got is we have them, got them both together. So if you want to, uh, well, I say want to, you're going to get them both together. You can get them separate, but the values within this full bundle here. This one here, now you're going to get four designs and then you're going to get six of each. This is giving you the ombre glitter, shedless glitter. Now, within this one here, I'm going to tell you because I get asked time and time again over the weekend you can absolutely put it in your Cricut your scan and cut your cameo anything like that it will not blunt your blade so think of the designs with our neon dreams but look at these with the ombres there with the mints and the pinks you've got your rainbow effects as well 24 sheets when it comes to these ones here these are 210 gsm exactly the same when it comes to the six by six designs so if you are want to stock up on these ones you can absolutely do that 65 pound or 83 dollars but you've got a platinum price of 52 pound or 66 dollars which is Fab, but I'm going to just show you a few finished samples first of all. So this is what I was talking about when you've seen Sarah with any of the Ultimate Pro or our scoreboards. You can come along, you can still do these with construction. Your template library, your expansion packs, exceptional. What I do want to say as well though, when it comes to, of course, the actual um, collection of the cardstock, that's not the only thing you're going to be getting. Um, I think it's just down here at the side here. Let's bring it in because that price has given you all of this. Now you're going to get two of these ones. So these are your paper handlers. You're going to get two of these, two. And then you're also then going to be getting, which is not that long launched, and that's your Botanic Gardens. That's your 12 by 12, got that gorgeous like pearlescent, 36 sheets, 250 GSM. That's in there. You're also then going to get my favorite paper pad that you know, your uh, 12 by 12 pastel. And you're going to get your linen and your pearlescent in there. You're going to get your chip. Uh, so it's the platinum that you're getting. So it's your platinum. So it is Centura Apparel that you're getting, a pack of Centura Apparel, but it's your platinum, 310 GSM and 10 sheets of those and let's not forget you're going to get two of these as well that is what consists of your showstopper so we're not surprised that you're really busy within that one there going to work as well with the brand new launch 52 pound or 66 dollars 40 just to say though put it in perspective if you were to go for all of that on its own remember you've got the two of them those on its own would be 56.95 or 71 dollars 91 look at your price today that price on your screen includes that and the four paper pads as well. Say paper pads, card pads, neon dreams, and the ombre glitter. That value is phenomenal. Look at the platinum price, £52.66.40. The values are exceptional all throughout today. That is for sure. So check that one out when it comes to the basket as well. So .co.uk.com or .eu and have a look at all the brand new launches there that we're showing you today. The showstopper, the focal point of the day, is of course our brand new folders. These are our folders with our dies, the frame edge embossing folders. This is your nine piece showstopper, your cardstock, your new dies and folders, your dotty tape runner, plain tape runner, you're going to get your blending brushes and your two pokey tools as well. You're going to get all of that for your platinum price of £56 or $70.40. Once we come back from Sarah, we'll go over it again in more detail with the boards, but we've got our bonus buy as well. The bonus buy is consistent of our duet ink pads. It's all 12 of them. If you want to go for them on their own, you can do. They're £68 or $105. Platinum price of £54 or $84. 
add that into your basket with your showstopper on your website, what's going to happen is they'll then become half price. So you're going to get the whole lot for an incredible £83.20. This is platinum, or for you guys stateside, $112.40. Options everywhere for you. Folders on its own, website, showstopper, or the bonus buy. Of course, with the bonus buy, you've got the blending brushes as well. Crafterscompanion.co.uk.com.eu. That's where you need to go. I'm not surprised so many have been checking out in that last break, but let's have a look and see what more we can do with the brand new launch with Sarah. Well, I thought I would build on what we were talking about before, where you said you liked learning how to use the card blanks in other ways. Yeah. So, can I just say, if you're only going to buy one set of card blanks, guys, go on at the six by sixes. All right, the six by sixes are the ones that you're going to use all the time, okay? So what I've done is I've just got two of the six by sixes from the six by six card blank set. You can use, most of our dies are designed to work on six by six cards. What I want you to do is score the halfway point, right, so that I can then fold this in half. So can you remember that last card, Craig? Mm -hmm. I made it as a fold back like this, right? I'm going to do the same here. I'm just going to fold that. I'll put the score line in done the fold back and what I'm going to do here is I've got my fold back both ways I'm going to attach them together along the back oh, look at that and now you've got what we call a fold back gate fold right this is a fold back gate fold so on my fold back gate fold I'm now going to use the dies to give me the shaping now I have to say the art deco has become of all of the oh you've stuck back down there and <laughs> um, of all of the ones we've got the art deco has kind of become my go-to I just love this filigree pattern in the corner. It's that filigree, it's, it isn't is it? Very, yeah. Very, yeah, it's really popular, OK? So remember, you've got the inner dies, but then you've got the outer dies. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of these cards and I'm going to use that fold-back gatefold style, mm -hmm. but I'm going to have that outer pattern cut, right? So hold it in place with a little bit of your tape. In fact, I'm going to go whole hog and I'm going to use a bit of tape at the top and a bit of tape at the bottom. Now, you could go right to the edge if you want, I actually quite like take, having a little bit. I want a little bit of it. Yeah, I think I do. I think I want a little bit. I'm going to split the difference there. And then I'm going to hold this in place with the tape across here. Okay. And the tape across there as well. Right? So now when I open this, this first piece is going to cut in. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this in, my, in the machine there. I'm going with the clear magnetic and the top now when notice sometimes craig i'm using the plates the way they are in the book and yeah. sometimes i'm using them the other way but this one it was really important to have that die position exactly where i needed it on that fall back so i stuck the die to the card if i'm just cutting into the card i'll use the magnetic positioner that, that's yeah. kind of where i where how do you know which way which way to go people ask me that a lot right so taking that little bit of tape off taking the bit of tape off down there right and then from this i'm just going to nip off because we always make them tiny we don't need that spoon anymore tiny weeny bit smaller than what the um the six by six is right so there's the left hand side so now I'm going to come in right hand side, it's going to be exactly the same. Where is my die? I'm going to again eyeball it, I'm going to give roughly the same amount of space at one side as what I've got at the other. So I'm going to hold that in place there, I'm going to do the same here, a little bit of tape down there, hold that in place over here and I'm going to go and do yeah, that other side. Good. So this is how I want you to create that whole concept of a fold back Gatefold. Great, right? see, great way to see how it's used. How it's used. And um, the good thing is, you've got that with all the dies. So all of the dies have got true. that out yeah, of the cut. So you, can do that. you could do that with the circular design as well. It gives you a completely different shape. And when we do the launch day show in a couple of hours, I'll show you a totally different way to do a, a gatefold card, but not a fold back gatefold. So we'll look at, I'll, I'll try and make sure, well, I will make sure, there's no trying, guys. I will make <laughs> sure that we cover some different techniques, right? So on this one here, again, Again, I'm just cutting up to that. I'm going to do the same down here. I'm going to cut down to this. And there is my ever so gentle with the tape. Right, so there's my fold back. So the fold back to the left and the fold back to the right. Now, what you do want to do, and I would recommend using your um, this glue, 
your you, your um, all purpose. Okay. That's the word. Thank you, Johnny, in my ear there. Be your all purpose glue there, Sarah. He's got us, he's got a bat. You know, sometimes you're so in the moment, yes. you're kind of not sure what you're doing. It's one of them, right? So I'm manoeuvring this into place so that I can make sure that is meeting absolutely perfectly. Let's make sure they meet in the centre. Oh, yeah, they do. Look at that. <laughs> that's come together beautifully. That's because I use them ready, ready to go card blanks, right? So now that is how you would create a lovely fold back in the middle, right? Now, first point to fold back, mm -hmm. there's the die here it is. This one here, I'm going to do this in just a bit of black card. So this is where I'm going to use my positioner. So I've got the magnetic positioner. I'm going to hold that card in place, pop the, um, oh, sorry, hold the die in place, pop the card on, and we're ready to go through. Oh, perfect. And that is when it becomes, I'm doing it the other way, I'm the putting the card yeah. over the top of the die. Quite often, more often than not, I do it differently on TV to what I do at home, because I want you to see the die for longer. But in this instance, that's quicker and that's easier. And then look, you can see, you can see where the die's cut through beautifully. Remember the tip I gave you earlier? Tap it from the back, right? Oh, Leanne will tell you not to tap your dies. I'm telling you, I've been tapping mine for over 10 years and it's never bothered if I tap it from the back, right? So, I'm going to do that. Now, you could use your dotty tape pen. Oh, you could use your dotty tape pen, Craig, mm -hmm. or you could, if you wanted, use your um, all-purpose and rub the excess out. Okay, yeah, that's true. You could, My recommendation you? is always... I know a dotties. number of you have been asking about the card blanks. The card blanks are true to size. The envelopes are a little bit bigger, so it takes into account if you've got any thickness or your decoupage, but the card blanks are also to size. Also, just to say as well, when it comes to the colours of the A3 12x12, they're that new, the team have just managed to get a picture up. So what to do, and I've looked, if you click onto each of the cards, the A3 or the 12x12, it tells you the colours in the description that you're going to get. The guys and girls are going to get the actual colours on the website, but they're that brand new. I said to Johnny and Sarah, we'll have to talk well, about them on the show. they're not supposed to be really launched no. until tomorrow guys there today is go. just what we call the soft launch where the team are all setting them up but so many of you are out buying them uh, yes th there's now a bit of a scramble going on so that's why but the description does tell you all the colors that you've got right look at that look how much tape I've used there with the dotties it's totally worth using plenty and then having that maneuver not like maneuverability but look I'm not as Craig said don't push it down till you're happy it's in the right place. Once it's in that right place, we're going in with it. And okay. that is how you do that lovely kind of fold back with the design on the front, right? Now, I'm just gonna go nice and simple. Uh -huh. And I'm just gonna mat and layer up a little bit of cardstock, Craig, on, onto the back of these. Awesome. And then do a little bit of that. This is the Art Deco one, so I'm gonna do a little bit of Art Deco embossing. Well, you're on sticking that on, Sarah. Can I read you a lovely message? Go for it. From Pam Craven. Oh, I haven't heard from Pam in ages. Mm -hmm. how's, how's our Pam doing? So she says, hi, Craig and Crafters TV. Can you please let Sarah know I am watching and tell her I'm feeling good at the moment. Aww. I'm Christmas crafting as I watched and will be making the table decoration with a greenery from the High Street shop ha -ha, oh. uh, that just closed. This is uh, the one that she's made from last year too. I know, I was going to say Pam was at the tour last year. So we did have, for anyone who missed it, we've done a reprint on the, um, oh, what do you call them? The programmes. Yeah. So we did have the programmes for anybody who was wanting them. Uh, they're still on the website. We had them on on Friday. The, the Craft Your, go and have a little look for Craft Your Christmas Tour programme. I'll just search Craft Your Christmas and, it, and it'll come up on the website. Um, but Pam, that is lovely to hear from you. I was thinking about you the other day and I was thinking, oh, I haven't heard from Pam in a while. I hope she's okay. So it's, um, we do think about you guys often, we do. You know, when, especially when we see a lot of the same names crop up and then if yeah. it goes a few weeks, and we haven't heard from you, we start to worry and we think, do. oh, is everything all right? People aren't, aren't here and aren't chit-chatting. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So, And right. especially because, it, just like we are with you guys, you're so open with us. If I'm not here for you and we know that maybe you don't keep well or haven't kept well, that's when we start to get worried and concerned, going, have you heard? You know, message Ben, have you heard of so-and-so, so-and-so? So, yeah, it's lovely to hear from you, Pam. Isn't it just? Oh, Pam, that's been lovely. Right, should we have a little bit of, uh, should we have a little bit of duetting again? Yes. So watch these. I mean, while you get them for half price, bear in mind we've given you the brushes included, right? So these are in your showstopper. So look, oh, I love this stuff. Look how easy it is to get that lovely, you get the intense around the outside and you get that lovely brush mark. Now, if you've tried before 
with the, the round blending brushes and you're getting frustrated because you can't get that ombre shading like that, these brushes will make all the difference, right? Because they allow you, it's a little bit easier than the foam edge to get that lovely ombre. Brushes, a little bit easier to work with. So I know they're more expensive to buy, but if you're going for the showstopper, you've got them included exactly, and you're getting a yeah. huge showstopper saving on there as well. So, um, yeah, for anybody thinking, you know, am I upgrading to the showstopper, I would say it's worth it to get these brushes in. Completely right? agree. So there's them two there. And all I'm going to do, Craig, is I'm going to do this. I'm going to mat and layer them up a little bit and I'm going to do my, my inside of my card as well. When it comes to these cards that you're making with, with the dies, I'm just thinking obviously the, the width or the height of the actual dies. Helen's asking, Helen Stewart, Craig, please can you ask Sarah, can you do this with the Gemini MIDI? Yes, 100%. You, you could do every one of the cards I've done, you could do with your Gemini MIDI. We've just got the Gemini 2 out on the desk because life's a little bit easier when you've got a Gemini 2 in your life, isn't it? Um, but go for it. Use mm -hmm. your Gemini MIDI. Perfect. And yes, the card blanks as well. Lots of questions with the card blanks. Card blanks are the same top quality as our white multi-purpose. Essentially, it is our white multi-purpose. So you can still do all your it inking is, it's, it's and all It's from the same supplier, guys. Yeah. It's the same source of paper. So you know the quality of exactly. card Exactly. It's all about use. the quality. Right. Look at this. I've done the same again, Craig, in case I didn't get them in exactly the right place. Done them with this, card, uh, this glue so that I've got that manoeuvrability because I didn't get them all in the right place and now I'm just manoeuvring them to get them absolutely perfect. I am that a is massive the difference. fan and of just pink rub and away, blacks. Rub away the excess. You like the pink and the black, yeah. do you? Well, I like a lot of like yellow and black, orange and black, purple and black. I just think it really, it's very classy. There we go. Sending these wishes just for you to hope that all your dreams come true. Do you know, I go back to that um, verse compendium all the time. I've, I've noticed that, yeah, oh, when I watch it, I'm like, that's time. a verse just, compendium. Just a, just a nice car. And then look what I've done with this one, Craig. I've just done a nice, simple, one of our um, decoupage florals. And I'm just going to put the uh, tape on one side. There we go. So that I can go right across the middle there. And oh, you've got wow. that nice and central. But that's how you do the fold back gate fold with that lovely shaping from the dies that are in this set. Awesome. How fab is that? Oh, I love that. I love that with the black. And do that with, of course, the card blanks. Beautiful. Love that one. And uh, you could be doing exactly that as well when it comes to, of course, our showstopper. And just as you see, it's just coming in right here. There you go. Uh, I'm that's going to be consistent. <laughs> That's going to go up against when it comes to demo of the show. Uh, right, in a moment, we're going to give you the ability to go and check out your baskets. Because I think every single time you're like, oh my God, I need these. And then I think you're going to the cards, you're going to the card blanks. But it is about the showstopper here. Now, when it comes to this one, you've got our framed edge embossing folders and the dies. But now, with this showstopper, yes, you're going to be getting the four die sets. Let's have a look at these once again here before we go to that break and let you check out. You can be mixing and matching of course if you want to or maybe you want to use just the outer die with maybe the folder in the middle but when you've got the four designs from the rectangle look the square look the oval look and that art deco look there if you want just this four set you can absolutely do that on the website but with the showstopper that's consistent of all the key elements to get you crafted with the dies. you need a gemini or a die cut machine you're good to go tape runner for your adhesive the dots the straights pokey tool to get all the little bits out the blending tool so if you're going to be going for the duet ink pads then of course we've got you covered my favorite paper pad and that is all your showstopper all of those extras apart from the die set all of those extras if you paid for them on their own they would be £47.95 or $62.95 you're going to get it all essentially within that bundle for £20 or $30 there's an incredible value saving already that is the showstopper but please do consider about the bonus buy here. Now, the bonus buy is going to give you all of the duet ink pads. So it's the 12-pack duet ink pads, and we'll just pan in the colours that you've got here, whether you're blending them, you've seen Sarah, whether you're doing water-based techniques. Remember, when it comes to faux bleaching, it takes it right back to the white core, or maybe it's the buildability when it comes to stenciling and layering. All of those, you can get them for £68 or $105. Platinum price comes down to £54.48 or $84. 
but the bonus buy means add that into your basket with a showstopper they'll then become half price which then means showstopper and those you're going to get them at a platinum price of £83.20 or $112.40 the other thought I've just had as well of course Hopefully most of you that weren't in Club Inspire did join when it comes to Friday, Saturday and Sunday last week with our Club Inspire event. If you've not and you're thinking, OK, yeah, I need a die cut machine, but I like that. If that's your first purchase after joining Club Inspire, you'd get that at that platinum price as well, which is exceptional. So options, options, options. We've got you covered, but not surprised. Most of you going for that show stopper. Uh, right, we're going to give you the opportunity to check out your basket. It's not yours until you've checked out. It's like going to Asda, Tesco's, Morrison's, whatever, and having it in your basket. I can come and nick it out until you get to the checkout. So make sure that you do check out. So here's your chance to do it right now. Hi, I'm Ben from Crafters TV. As you may know, we've just launched an amazing new website. Our new home of paper crafts that has all of your crafty needs. And as we've had a bit of a makeover, I'm here today to show you how to view your Club Inspire loyalty points on our brand new site. So without further ado, let's get started. First, go to our Crafters Companion homepage. Make sure to select the correct location. Go to the My Crafters icon on the top right of your screen. Log into your My Crafters account. After logging in, you should be taken to your My Crafters page. Under the loyalty section at the top of the page, you'll be able to see your loyalty tier, the amount of points you've acquired, and also any pending points that you're due to receive from a recent order. To purchase products with your Club Inspire discount, simply explore the site and products using the navigation bar at the top of the screen. When you find the product you want, add to your basket by clicking the Add to Basket button. The product will appear as full price, but don't worry, your loyalty discount will be shown in your basket. You'll then have the option to view your basket or continue shopping. If you want to check out, click view your basket. Here you can see the list of items you've added along with the order summary on the right hand side of the screen. This is also where you'll see your loyalty discount and just remember the price you're seeing at this stage is excluding any delivery charges. And how simple was that? We get to know people from places and walks of life that we wouldn't come across in our everyday life if it wasn't for um, Crafters TV and doing what we do. I got so many lovely comments from people when I started doing the presenting and it was just really such a lovely um, feeling. And it's nice that people keep messaging in, you know, we see the same, same people and we know you can build up that kind of relationship with those people. So it's just the fact that people like what we do and they're pleased. And I do love it when people send us photographs of the items that they've made. We talk about customers, but really, the going as a customer, come out as a friend. The support that I get is amazing. The messages I get are amazing. Me, personally, it is personal interaction. I've never had the best of health. I've always been open about that uh, with our viewers at Crafters TV. So many people are in the same situation as me health-wise. Other people have got a completely different health issues. They understand and they relate to what I'm going through, what others are going through. So whether we interact on a crafting basis or whether we interact on a health basis, a personal basis, we are all there to support one another. It is incredible. The reaction of viewers when they come to meet us is worth all of the, the early mornings when we have to get up for our early morning shows. Some of the customers come on as craft ambassadors and things like that, craft along with us and being able to actually chat with them on air. I love it, I really love that connection with them. We've had lots of uh, shows where we've done like um, craft alongs especially, where we've had viewers craft along with us. We had a particular viewer, Joy, who joined us once before and she literally made me cry on air and Jo uh, because the things she said about us it really was quite humbling that there are people out there that watch us and and invite us into their living rooms and really treat us like family do you know what i feel like i've seen everyone lately apart from fisher
She looks like she's having a cracking time at Disneyland Paris oh, just now. Wonderful time she is. Jolly Bobs. She yeah. is indeed. I cannot wait. We're together, not this weekend coming, but next week. Me and Debbie are together all weekend, so I'm really, really looking forward to that one. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, guys, congratulations on everyone that's gone for the brand new collection. Majority of you are going yes with the showstopper. You're adding the bonus buy, which I am not surprised. Uh, I'll go through it all again after we've come back from Sarah, but just know you do have that showstopper, £70 or £80. $8. Platinum price comes down to £56 or $70.40. Also, please do consider going for the bonus buy because then that's going to give you all the different techniques that you can do with the blending brushes, with the dies and the folders as well. And if you do do that, please make sure you add it into your basket. If you're then logged into your, the website, of course, it will then do your Club Inspire for you, deduct it off, and it means then you're going to get that full lot, that full caboodle for £83.20 or $112.40. And the world of crafting abilities and things that you can do with all of that is absolutely phenomenal. So because of that, we've seen three incredible demonstrations. So let's go straight back to the boss because we're going to have a look at another one. Well, it's all about different sizes. I feel like I've done an awful lot of the square cards with this. I want to show you how you can do the smaller cards as well, okay? okay. So this is one of your, you can either use an A2, as they call it in the US, an A6, as we call it here in the UK, uh, four by six or whatever. But basically, it's your little small one, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do shaping where I'm going to do some embossing and a bit of shaping with the die cutting. So the set, let's have a little look. Which one am I going to use? I'm going to use the Regal Elegance. Am I going to use the Regal Elegance? Well, decisions, I decisions, the yeah. Lace? Oh, no, I'll use the Regal Elegance. Do like a bit of Regal Elegance. Right, go for it, right? So... Remember, you're going to use this. You're going to use this for the shaping. So I'm going to do this first of all. Tenfold card, Craig. I'm going to pull this right down the very bottom corner of my card. Hold it in place with that little bit of tape, right? Right. Okay. If in doubt, guys, put two little bits of tape, one at each side, so that it doesn't move as it's going through the card, right? So here we go. I'm going to cut that little bit. I'm going to go right onto the edge there. Are two clear pieces and this is really these dies are all about card shaping right i want you to really focus on that beautiful card shaping so always use those edgeable dies. they're not for all they're wrapped around the die i envisage using them as two separate dies as you've seen me do in every demo okay so first of all we've done that lovely card shaping around here and now notice when i do stick my tape on craig there's only ever a tiny little bit on the card yeah. The biggest bulk is on the bit that's going to um, cut away, right? And then look at, yes, I've torn them briefly, but if you just need to go and neaten them up, you can easily neaten them up like that, right? Now, I've got that shaping on the base of the card, and then look what I'm going to do. This is different to how I've done any of the others, right? I'm going to take this, feel for the one that's debossed, right? So I want my deboss at the top, because I want it to emboss into there, right? And I'm going to open this up because I want that pattern, can you see, going right across the top there. So I can see that I've got that lovely pattern all the way across the top. I'm catching it all the way. Mm -hmm. And I'm going through now, I'm using my two um, outside plates. And I'm going to send that through there now. I never even thought about embossing the same layer as the die that you yeah. die cut off the outside. But I want you I to do the die cutting first and the embossing second, right? Really important that don't because otherwise you'll undo the embossing, right? Oh, this is the one that I use for the green light. I haven't, I obviously <laughs> haven't cleaned it that well. Never worry, never worry because let's have a little look. I don't know whether to use the vintage Merlot or the soft heather. I think I'll go a bit of soft heather, right? So, a little bit of soft heather, and watch what I'm going to do. I'm just going to pick up a little bit of that, right? And I'm just going to go round the outside with that nice, subtle finish, mm -hmm. right? Isn't that lovely? So I'm picking up the excess, nice, subtle finish. So tap off the excess, bring this around, right? Now watch what you do when you get to this part here. You fold your card over so that we only bring, here we go, Good only bring tip. the design down on the front of the card. You don't want it on the back of the card, right? Oh, you might want it on the back of the card. I didn't want it on the back of no, my card, no. right? Now I want to cover all that green, so I'm going to use that brush, little circular motions, and look, you can go, you can always add more depth. You can't take it away once it's on. So you're always adding, never take me now, look at that. It's giving me a lovely base front to my card there now, 
right, with that lovely embossed panel over there. So that's giving me the nice kind of base to the front, uh -huh. and I haven't even started to use the main die yet. So now what I want you to do is I'm going to cut some, I'm going to go up black and lovely lilac. Sarah, right? do you know what I'm just thinking of with what you're away to cut now? Go on. That'll fit on the foil press. <gasps> oh, yeah, it would. That's going to be a, maybe six, seven seconds. I know you would need to cut out, obviously, a separate panel, but then foil well, it then and then stick it on. But then you've got the outer cut to do yeah, the lovely exactly. cutting. Yeah, that would be fabulous. He loves his foil press, don't you? Oh, I do. I do love it. Any time I can use it, any ways that I can use it with new launches, I absolutely do that. Oh, yeah. oh I'm actually getting home now. These would work brilliantly the well with that. They would. Love that idea. Right, so here we go. Remember the tip, guys. Going to lift it off. Tap on the back. I mean, can we just have a moment to appreciate how beautifully well these release? I mean, are they or are they not super simple and fabulous mm -hmm. to work with, right? I'm going to go the same with the black. Pop this down on there, and you can see I'm turning and rotating every time because there's my last one when I cut the last black one. So try to remember that turn and rotate every time um, so that you wear your plates evenly. That's what I love about the Gemini plates. You've got that longer shelf life, but you still, it's only a longer shelf life on them if you look after them, right? If you don't look after them, they'll last exactly the same time as your other ones would, yes. which wouldn't be very long, <laughs> right? So here we go. I've got the black. And I've got the uh, the purple, and again, just be gentle because I'm going ever so sparingly. This is probably I do love this one. It's probably the most um, oh, what's the word when you've got to be careful with it? Most intricate, maybe. Uh, it, it's the lots of these big open spaces. Oh, that's it. So yeah, it's really, really gorgeous design, but you've got to be. Really, really careful. They're so with fine, this. aren't they? The lines. Really so fine. fine detail. So let's have a little look there. It wasn't quite well. Potentially, I'm just looking at our boards here. Some of these, the, the line side, some of these could be some of the thinnest lines that we've potentially done within dies. Do you think? I think so, yeah. Mm, yeah. I hope you're right. He knows his stuff. Yeah. Uh, now look at this. I'm just using all that excess ink. And again, now, but notice what I've done is I've added this once I've already done my shadow layer. Because obviously it's not going to it's not going to affect the black, but then it gives it a little bit more structure to be able to cope with that, right? So now you see, when I'm coming down with this, look, I'm go I'm just going for a little bit more there now, and you can see that's going to stick nicely. So this is going to come on there, going to add that onto the bottom, looking oh, beautifully wow. fancy there, right? Now that would actually work. So I'm going to do that as a stand-up card like this, right? But that would work equally as well if you wanted to do it as a one like this. Of course. This. And it would cut there. And I just like that we've taken this design down here. But what I am going to do, uh, she says when I... I can't remember if I have... I'm, 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 well, yeah, me bits are over there. We're all right, guys. I haven't lost them, don't worry. They're just over the other side of the studio. So, look, this is going to go on the inside. And, do you know, never underestimate the impact of triple matting and layering. Nope, they completely really, agree. It just looks absolutely stunning, right? Now, I haven't spent, I haven't, I've got this ready to go. I've just done my little, you see, a couple of little floral sprays there. Do have my new little 3D glue gel. So I'm going to go, I know sending you my love. done the paper flowers there, but later on in the day of Monday Makers, we've got an Explorer kit, which is your flower forming. Explorer kit, yeah. Oh, you know they're always my favourite to work are. on them. So imagine some of the delicate flowers you've created as well, just cascading down the side. That would be beautiful. Now, I don't know who's had this before me, Craig, and I'll be really honest, whenever we're in, I always blame you for everything, so I can't because you're here. And let's be honest, I not because I don't love it, but I use foam pads it, over glue it, gel. It won't, it won't be you. So it won't be me. <laughs> so if you ever get that, so can you see, it, it started to drop my... Um, thing it started to dry out now the reason is when you come to use it you should always squeeze the excess yeah. out of the end before you put the lid on right and if you do that you'll never have an issue right but if you don't you will have an issue because it, it reacts with the air so if a little bit of air gets in it'll harden inside the tube it's, it's fixable it's not the end of the world guys no, no. fixable um, but then you just need to get the hardened little bit so can you see, I'm just coming round there with my pokey tool, 
There it is. Harden a little bit and now that's squeezing out, no problem. So when I put the lid on, squeeze that out so that you've got a tiny little bit coming out the end as you can see there. Then pop the lid on, which means I've got no air in the edge. Um, I can take off that tiny little bit onto me. But this is where you poke, this is why you need several you poker tools, guys. Right? Just position them in place and that, I think, is a super lovely card. Super lovely, that's absolutely gorgeous. And it's just nice and simple with having that, you yeah. know, the, but bringing the embossing into it. Look at that. And you know what you're really going to see in a second? As this comes in, when we'll do a demo of the show, you're going to see the sizes. So, you know, you've done the gate folds, you've got your A5 that you've got there, your fold backs, and then your smaller card as well. So even just within Wake Up Call, there's four different sizes, four different styles that Sarah showed you when it comes to the brand new launch. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's kick start here when it comes to demo of the show. So you've got your four to choose from, all from the brand new launch launch that we can see here. So whether it is going to be number one that we can see here, doing them on the opposite sides, folder in the middle, what about changing it up? We've got number two there, creating within that oval with the folders in the back. Then we've got number three, this is creating two six by six card blanks and a double gatefold that you can see with the folders in the middle. And then we've got last, but by no means least, number four that Sarah just done there. And then that is your smaller card. But how beautiful, elegant and delicate does that look? So you've got the four of them to choose for. One, two, three or four. You've got a couple of minutes and Alex will get the votes in for us. And we'll soon find out which one is going to be demo of the show. That is all from our showstopper. Now, please remember as well, Wake Up Call is your first opportunity to get ahead of our brand new launches and the deals that are coming your way throughout the day on Crafters TV. Not even touched upon the fact is we've got the two hour dedicated launch. That's going to be three o'clock here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. And also, demos. there you go. I've seen them. They're Don't beautiful. think you've seen it all, guys. No, no, no I've got more to come. There's loads. Now, the only way you can do what Sarah does is by making sure you get them into the basket and checked out. And we've got the options. You've heard me say quite a lot today in options. And that's because we cater for different budgets. If you want just the folder and the die on their own, they're on the website for you to check out. But whether you go for the showstopper, which most of you are going for, and I'm not surprised. Look, if you've already got a load of them like me, you always need more like me. You always need blending brushes, pokey tools, tape runners. These are all additional essentials that we always need. So the showstopper is £70 or $88. You've already got that saving there off the bat with the today's price, but your platinum comes down to £56 or $70.40. Just to say, and I'm going to do this because this is a good way to show it visually, all of that there, if you were to buy that on its own, which you can absolutely do that, you would be £47.95 or $62.95. But when it comes to that showstopper price, it means essentially within that price, that's coming to you for £20 or $30. So there's the value there within these essentials. So that's your showstopper. But then what about a bonus buy? By adding in the bonus buy, because we've got the blending brushes, which are the five pack, the duet ink pads. Them on their own, which you can go for, is £68 or $105. Platinum price comes down to £54.40 or $84. By putting them into your showstopper, and that's the key thing when it comes to our website and your account at checkout. Put that in your showstopper and the duet ink pads. Savings will all be deducted for you. Essentially means within the price that you pay, they're coming to you half price. That then means the showstopper and the duet ink pads, you're going to get at a platinum price of £83.20 or $112.40. The dies, the folders, the adhesives, the cards, the brushes, the tools, and all 12 of your duet ink pads. With these one being a water base, you can do all your different techniques and layering as well. You see the details on the bottom of your screen if you want to go for just the duet ink pads on their own. What I would say though, just before you check out, you've got a bit of time to check out as to uh, the quantity wise, please have a look on the website, check out the Explorer kit when it comes to the flower form and it's an ex exceptional saving. Look as well at the ombre glitter card, the neon glitter card, because all of these are going to be working together. It's about getting them all together on the website. But the main one that most of you are going for, most of you are going in and you're adding in, of course, the duet ink pads, but the showstopper, and I'm not surprised, that has been so, so busy and so, so popular. You're getting it all, the platinum price of the showstopper at £56 or $70.40. 
um, when it comes to these ones, uh, we've seen so many different ways, Sarah, even bringing in the transfer foils as well together. Yes. The working tree. You've got the ombre glitter card over there. I do, yeah, yeah. Get it over here. Yeah. Get it over here. Let Let's get a foil transfer on it. Oh, right? yes. Now, I'm going to show you, just in case you missed me showing you earlier, yes, this is technically Lily's big launch tonight, but I'm just previewing it for you, okay? I want you to see just how intensive the colours are there. I mean, that is the go. Is that absolutely beautiful, right? And then again, you're taking individual pieces of these. Look at how fabulous it is. Now, that's the blue there. I did say I would do this onto the vellum as well, Craig, so I'll show everybody that uh, if you want to do it. Now, if you've done it like a patterned piece of cardstock, you can add the butterflies onto there. It's easy to add them on. Maybe if you're doing like a, an envelope like this, mm -hmm. do all of your score lines so that you know where it's going and then add the foiling on before you make it up into a 3D piece. Okay. Now, for anyone who missed it, I'm just going to show you again how it works, OK? Because I'm... So I'm going to bring... Let's go for the... Uh, it's two sets. So you make a wish, right, is the one that has all of these colours of the foil with them. So it's got your lovely blue, it's got the green in there, it's got the um, the purple, and then it's got that lovely magenta or cerise pink in there as well, right? And then these are all the shades. Now, I'm going to keep this one, because I did say I would show you these on two that we, that we saw that on lovely vellum before, didn't we, right? Lovely big designs like this. I'm going to absolutely take that one and show you that one as well. Oh, there's so... Honestly, there could be loads I could be picking up. This onto watercolour card and then doing your watercolour effects on it would be absolutely fantastic, OK? But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go... So let's go with this one here, right? So I'm going to take this here. Now, let's imagine mm -hmm. we were going on to... Shall I do this onto the vellum? Yeah, or should I do? Oh, yeah. uh, oh, I've got so much I want to show. Right, I'm just going to go. First of all, I'm just going to go regular. On to it's going to craft card. I'm going to go into a regular piece of card. I'm going to build up and do them all. Right. So you peel the back off. Right. You can see there. It's tr it's the glues on here. It's double sided adhesive. Right. You pop it down. Now you must give it a really thorough all over rub. Now the best thing you can do is you can get a. Um, Oh, what do you call it, Craig? A, a bone folder? Bone folder, right? If you haven't got a bone folder, or in my case, they'll all be saying, it's just there, sorry, you haven't looked past the nose end, which is usually what happens. <laughs> um, but look at this, I'm going to use the ruler, or you can use the back of the spoon I used before. But the sentiment is, you see, you want to make sure... I'm going to just go right round the edge there, make sure I've got all of them up, right? And then once you start peeling... You want to make sure that... No, it's, it's not... I haven't rubbed it enough, Craig. But given it I want that to, pressure, yeah. I want to give it the nice pressure all over. Now, what I do want to do is show people that... I want to do the normal way, and then I'm going to show you the Gemini trick, if you want it to be perfect, right? So, now when I peel this off, right, and I'm just making sure I'm... Really, oh, it's you coming for a bone <laughs> folder. <laughs> Sorry, did you get a fright there? Are you just looking to say... I just saw a body <laughs> to the right just here, look, and I was like, for oh. the bone folder. So you can see that there's the adhesive on there, right? And then if I wanted to come now, this might be nice with the bronze on here, right? So I'll come along with the bronze. You pop the bronze down here, right? And then once I've got this down, this doesn't need as much of a, a pressure rub, right? So this just needs a little bit of a light rub because then when we lift that off, that's going to have stuck beautifully. <laughs> I mean, is that or is that not incredible, right? Now, what I did say was, let's find a nice, lovely, big transfer pattern that we can put onto our ombre glitter, glitter pad, right? Oh, was there some... Where was the one with the butterflies? The butterfly ones, on? yeah. I love the butterfly. Oh, this would be a nice floral to put on there as well. Um, I am... I've got my eyes set on the butterflies. or some individual butterflies. Must be in the other set. Of course, it'll be the last thing I've got. It will be, always, always. All right? So, oh, this is nice, isn't it? Oh, this one, right, that's the one I was looking for. So, all you do, you cut your butterflies out, all right? So you can either use these as separate butterflies or it is a big flurry of butterflies if you want to use it as one big one. Now, to Craig's point earlier, it's not fussy cutting because all you do is you just whap around it, mm -hmm. right? Now, if I take that ombre glitter, this is, I love this one. This is, this is my favourite colour one at the back. Ben likes the rainbow one. I like the, the duo colour. I like, like the this, one on the front right? that's more of the pinky and the mints. So let's have a look. If I take that on there, I'm going to have the butterflies flying up the side. Now, I want to give that a good rub on, Craig. Uh -huh. But to make sure it's absolutely perfect, best thing you can do is pop it through your Gemini. Okay. Right? So all you do, normal sandwich for it is all you're doing dye cutting, but no dyeing. 
and that'll just apply the right amount of pressure to get a sharp transfer. So I'm not like pushing, pushing, pushing. I'm just sending it through nine seconds, probably quicker than what I was doing with the bone folder, right? So that now, when I release the back bit off, I know that Gosh. that is going to have transferred perfectly, right? And then you can come and take your foil, right? And I'm going to pop that foil down. Now, the foil doesn't need as much of a rub. As long as you've got the transfer transferred beautifully, the foil is easy to do. And then all we do is we peel that. Let me just make sure I've got the so rub So, Sarah, on if you've done it on acetate earlier on, this mm -hmm. must mean, can you do it on glass? Yes. Rub them onto anything. Imagine a, a box frame. I mean, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not, it's not, um, you wouldn't want to put in the dishwasher. No, 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 no. But how fabulous not is that box onto frame. ombre Look at that glitter? On ombre. Ombre glitter pad with that beautiful transfer of the foil. I think that's gorgeous. And just to remind you what we've done. So we've done it onto there. We've done it onto a little bit of craft card. Um, earlier on in the show, I did it onto some acetate. We saw it on acetate, mm -hmm. transferred beautifully onto acetate. We transferred, I showed you the two colours. So where you, could, you would just do the one first of all, and then transfer, the, put the second transfer down, then put the second colour on. We did it onto a little bit of um, mirror card. So you can literally get <laughs> it onto all effort. of your different finishes. That, that I think, that's to me my favourite, though. I, I would agree, actually. I think, yeah, to go on a shedless glitter, how far Able. does that look? How beautiful does that look? That and so many other mediums as well. If you want to go for them, you're going to be able to get both of them. You can get them individually, but most of you, which I'm not surprised, are going for this set here, which has given you both of them. You're going to get them for £48 or $58, £38.40, it's your platinum, or $46.40. Remember, within each sheet, you're getting six designs, or each pack, you're getting six designs and two of each. But when it comes to the actual transfer foils, you're getting four colours and then three of each as well. So that's there on the website. But let's have a look at the demo of the show. Demo of the show. Uh, I couldn't call this one, actually, uh, but it went straight into number one. Number one's done it, Sarah. You did it. You did indeed. Oh, yeah. Maybe we should. Um, maybe we should do that as a as a like a demo to put on Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and everything. Then that's a good idea. Yeah. See if that if that's been the most popular one. Should we do that? Then yeah. we can save it. I think yes. we should do that. That's a fab fab Wonderful. idea. Uh, guys, thank you so, so much. I know the comments have been coming in, but Wake Up Call really, really did just want to, of, of course, showcase the brand new launch. The brand new launch has all been about our showstopper, of course. It is our brand new showstopper, featuring our brand new dies and our folders. This is our framed edge embossing folders and dies. Now, you're going to get the full set, but what you're also then going to get is the dies and the folders to complement. Just before we get to the end of the show, this is the new launch dies and folders that you're going to be getting. If you want to go for them on their own, by all means, you can absolutely do that on the website, .co.uk, .com or .eu. But you're going to get the full four sets, and you're going to get two dies, and then you're going to get a folder within each one. Mix and match if you want to when it comes to the folders. But you're then going to get all of, in my opinion, the actual key essentials. Your card pad, your blending brushes, you're also going to get your pokey tool, and your dotty tape runner, and your straight tape runner as well. All of that is a platinum price of £56 or $70.40. Uh, so, so busy within a wake-up call. But what you can do if you want to, put the duets in. That's going to open up your bonus buy, which means they will then become half price. Put them into the basket and pop them into your basket. That then means you're going to be getting that full lot for a platinum price of an absolutely epic $83.20 or $112.40. Sarah, this has been crazy, crazy busy for a wake-up call. Again, I know I said it before a moment ago, you know, the comments have been coming in, but it's just been about the love for these, Sarah, what you've been showing, the versatility, and I do have to say as well, the love for the amount of you that have gone for all these card blanks. I don't know how long these are going to last, Well, Sarah. how about then? So when we come back at 3 o'clock, why don't we... If someone popped to the warehouse, we can get one of each of all of them, because they're obviously here in the warehouse, and then we'll show you all of them live in the short 3 o'clock. So if there's something you want to see, guys, we'll have it ready to show you in that short 3 o'clock. And then also what I will say is, and I've got loads of different techniques. If you feel that those four cards have been completely different that we've done in the show, I've got loads more different techniques again to show you. This was just like the wake up call show. In the official launch day show, mm -hmm. that's the one that everyone goes back to and references. So I've got lots of different techniques to cover off then. Do not miss. 
do not miss. That's two hours, three o'clock here in the UK for you guys stateside. It's going to be 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. But in the meantime, of course, you can always go back on our YouTube website. You can watch us where we are 24-7. But the main thing is please check out your baskets. Check out your baskets when it comes to the brand new launches. Check out your baskets when it comes to the card blank, the A3, the 12x12, 12 12, the cello bags. Make sure you're going to grab them because they're all going to work perfectly together. Myself, Sarah, and the team, we're going to see you live in a couple of hours here on Crafters TV where we've got a full two hours dedicated to the brand new launch of course which is our framed embossing folders and our dies. We will see you in a couple of hours. Bye.